What's cracking, people? Crazy Ray here. <clears throat> no, you ever sitting around, being bored, not much to do, smoking. And, uh, start thinking, what good is a cigarette? Or do you smoke it and blow, blow it away? Pretty much. But, check it. Once you're done with the cigarette, all you got is this, right? That's what's left. Well, I'm going to show you how these can be pretty useful. Especially when you're bored. What you're going to do is, see this tobacco still left in there? You're going to empty it out. What you do is you twist it and yeah. Now, to get the filter out, all you, all you really have to do is uh, twist starts coming out. You just grab and pull it. <clears throat> now, you're sitting there and I got this thing. What the hell am I supposed to do with it? You find you a pencil. Bite the metal piece of the eraser off. Don't have to bite it off. You can use a pair of pliers. If you're a tough guy, you can, uh, pull it off with your bare hands. Anywho, next you're going to want to find a needle. Any kind of sewing needle will work. These ones are pretty good, the ones with the little ball at the end. What you're going to do is you're going to put the needle into the eraser. It's going to go into the metal piece. You want to get it as centered as you can. If you're holding it like this, be careful, it will poke your So, <clears throat> pushing it through. Oh, shit. Well, you piece of shit. Like I said, you want to get centered as much as possible. So. Yeah, that's close enough. See how it comes out? Right there, bam. You're going to push it in. Now, if you have anything to push it the rest of the way, you want it to the back to be as close to the eraser without going through. Since I have that ball, it's going to stop it. Use the pencil. Push it back in. Towards to the bottom. And you have this. So where your cigarette comes into play. Twist one end tight, or it's smaller than the other side. We'll twist it into the metal opening. What's it look like? It's a dart. Like if you didn't know that. And you're gonna tear the back end part. Just just to maybe the middle part. You don't want to do it. Then tap it. Bam. You got yourself a dart. You know, great, I made a dart. What now? Well, you go around your house, look around. Uh, find a piece of PVC pipe. Should be pretty small. You don't want nothing too big. Now. Dark the pipe. See how that's kind of snug fit right there? That's pretty much what you want. Just don't grab a pipe and do it because uh, there might be spiders in the motherfucker. So when you get the pipe, look through it. Make sure there's nothing in there. Once water over it. Now you get yourself a homemade blowgun. It worked too. It's pretty accurate. I'm gonna shoot the wall or something. Right here. What can I shoot? I'll shoot this pack of cigarettes. Okay. I'll try to. As you can tell, nothing came out. My dart fell out. So here's 
door again. Like I said, you don't want the pipe too big because, yeah, your door will fall out. You want it to stay in there. And it fell out again. So, <clears throat> fray the back end. Put it in your pipe. Keep it level. When you shoot these things up, put your mouth on it and inhale because uh, you'll suck the dart in. Yeah. This is for informational purposes. Thought I finished that little cigarette, didn't you? Yeah. So I'm gonna shoot that pack of cigarettes. Again. As you can see it works. Back end came out a little bit. So there you go, something to do when you're done smoking that cigarette and you got a butt left over. And a pencil, a needle, and a piece of PVC pipe, aluminum, whatever. Anything to work, as long as it ain't too big. That's another informational video by yours truly, Crazy Rick. Until next time.